This is my replacement for the Max Flame. It's a really good torch. I used to use this Max Flame style torch and I found that I had all kinds of trouble with them coming back with a manufacturer uh, not standing behind them, with people getting hurt with them, with things being very hard to adjust because of their short amount of space. Uh, just in general, after selling them for two or three years and having as much problems as I did with them, I decided to go ahead and get rid of that torch and introduce a new torch. After a lot of experimentation and a lot of use, I came up with a torch that has a couple of really nice features that the other torches don't and that are always a, a sticking point with students. That is, first off, we have a gauge. When you fill this torch up, you fill it to that point right there on the gauge. The um, fuel is adjustable with a, an adjustable nozzle so that you can get a really fine control. It does have a lock to keep you from pulling the trigger from starting it. That lock has to be down. So typically I would tell a student to open it up about full turn yeah, and then back it down to whatever they need in terms of how much heat you need. flame as your butane goes down that's almost two inches wide as your butane goes down and your torch gets hotter they're gonna they're gonna drop down a lot if your butane's too cold you're gonna get fluctuations as well this particular torch right now has been sitting out all night probably got about 50 degree butane in it Here's one that's been started this morning once already. Unlike manufacturers and these people on these videos that are telling you, oh, it'll hold the charge for 30 minutes, you just charge it once, it's good for that. It really depends on how much you use it. For example, if you have it up at full flame for very long, you're not going to get more, probably more than four or five minutes. If all you're doing is using it down at a very, very small, flame setting you might get 20. All these types of torches use a lot of fuel. This torch has a different style end on it so it doesn't plug up as easily. I still recommend you always use filtered butane not the the stuff that you get at the Wally Walmart that has a, a lot of dirt and stuff like that in it. The small hole right there on the end of the torch. When this charge is being charged, you're filling, you've got a little nozzle in there that you're going to slip the nozzle of your can into. Like such. It'll be in there like so. Wiggle it around. Make sure you're on it and not halfway off to the side or something. Whenever you charge these torches and other torches like this, you're going to have some leakage. The harder you can push, the less leakage you're going to have. This torch itself has a brand new situation where when you first sell it, you'll leave that on there for about five seconds upside down, counting them out like 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005. And it has a gauge. after you charge it it'll look like nothing happened you have to wait a few minutes usually it's less than 30 seconds and you'll see it come up in the level I'll see if we can show that here on my other camera unfortunately I've already overcharged the torch hopefully we'll see if it, it acts up because of that but a lot of times if you overcharge the torch you're gonna get a really big nasty flame shooting out like whoosh, whoosh. so you don't want to overcharge the torch when you buy your butane you want to buy some really highly filtered butane, five times, ten times, two times, whatever. As long as it's filtered or refined, you should be good. Sometimes they come with a steel end and a plastic cap that has a lot of little nozzles in it. You don't want to use those little nozzles because those little nozzles chip off, and when they chip off and get into your torch, they plug it up and keep it from working. The only failures I've had on this torch so far, and I've sold over 300 of them now, is that when they've broken off a piece of stuff and lodged in the inside. 
I'm sure that that was part of the reason we were having with this torch before and all the other torches that you have out there that you can buy all suffer from the same thing. If you use that plastic nozzle you're asking for trouble. Yes it's going to leak a little butane but you'd much rather have your torch last longer. Anyway, that's our refillable torch.